launches. This is Amanda, and we just um, checked out the booth for The Walking Dead. We're gonna find out all about it, what people think about it. Hopefully, it's a good game. We'll see. Um, what's your name? My name's Taylor. I'm from uh, Los Angeles, California. And uh, what is your system of choice? I'm definitely a PC gamer all the way. Definitely PC Master Race for sure. So, what do you think E3 is? Well, E3 I think is uh, is a place for. A the gaming industry to kind of come together and showcase all their new um, software, their hardware, and kind of um, all their products that uh, we can see in the next year or so. What did you think about the Walking Dead game? So it's definitely, uh, it's cool, it's a new concept. Uh, I think a lot of the Walking Dead games we've seen uh, in the past uh, years have been really telltale um, uh, Walking Dead games. I think this is really the first um, kind of action RPG group team-based uh, game, it's not easy. A lot of people go are going in, the, the, the point is not really uh, to kill the zombie, it's, it's, it's really more objective-based, um, survival, um, kind of kill some zombies, regroup, uh, achieve your objective, and kind of just survive. It's, it's It was really tough. I was really, really uh, taken back by it. So what did you think of the graphics? The graphics, um, they're not bad. I think they could be a lot better. I think there are a little bit more. The company Overkill is a little bit more smaller and kind of on the indie status. So I think they have a little bit of work to do. But I think they're onto something for sure. And what did you think about the controls for the game? The controls are pretty basic uh, for Xbox. I played a little bit of the Xbox as well as the PC controls. Um, pretty standard as far as or if you compare it to other. Uh, PC games that are kind of this genre, so uh, not not difficult, uh, intuitive. So I enjoyed that part. Who do you think is uh, winning E3 right now? Uh, I think definitely Activision and probably uh, uh, Ubisoft. I think are the two. Uh, Nintendo is the, I think is you know everyone is playing such a significant role in the industry right now. Um, it's really kind of all depends on what you're looking at um, and, and when what interests you. So I have to ask, um, what game has impressed you so far in uh, E3? Ooh. Um, I've heard great things about Super Smash Brothers. I haven't got to play yet, but I'm super excited. Uh, Fortnite is huge, of course. I'm really excited for that now on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, the new Call of Duty uh, 4 uh, was really, uh, really fun as well. PC Master Race! Game, Game launch. launch! What is your name? Hi, I'm Christos. And where are you from? I'm from New York. What is your system of choice? I say PS4 mostly. What do you think E3 is? I would say it's a, it's a gaming uh, event. I would say it's like the, the Comic Con of, for gamers. It's a lot of fun. What did you think about the Walking Dead game? It's pretty fun. Uh, it feels like a real zombie apocalypse game. It feels like more realistic than uh, most zombie games. What did you think of the graphics of the game? They're nothing special, but they weren't bad either. Yeah, I would say they were good. And what did you think about the controls? Uh, at first they had trouble, but I think that was just a glitch, but I think they were good overall. Compared to the other Walking Dead games, like the Telltale games, what did you think of this uh, spin on the game? I, I got a little tired of the, the Telltale games. I thought, uh, I think this looks like a little bit more fun. Uh, I might check out the uh, finale though. Who do you think is having the best show in E3 right now? I will say uh, PS4, just with The Last of Us alone, definitely. Yeah, I'm uh, G-R-K-P-E-K-T-I-S, that's Greek practice, and uh, PS4 and uh, also on Instagram. PlayStation, PlayStation. Game, game Launch! Hey Game Launch, this is Amanda speaking and I have again run into the awesomest YouTubers ever, King Vader and Caleb City. We are going to find out what they think about the Walking Dead game and we're going to get the reviews and we're going to find out all about it. So uh, King Vader, what did you think of the new uh, Walking Dead game? Uh, I think it was really dope. Um, it was cool, very unpredictable and uh, it gave me a vibe of the Walking Dead. The uh, visuals was amazing. The the combat was it was nice, and it, it had logic. You know, if you made too much noise, you're getting surrounded by zombies. You could leave your friend and they would die. Like it's it's so much crazy stuff that just happened with that small amount of gameplay that we just had. But it was it was really dope and memorable. So, what did you think about the graphics, the controls, and what did you think about um, the other Walking Dead games compared to this one? Um, the graphics was definitely top-notch, something that we need, you know, moving forward. The controls, very easy, you know, not too complicated, very easy. I don't know, they might add some more, who knows, 
but it, it looks pretty dope so far and um, compared to most games it, it seems like this might be the Walking Dead game that people have been waiting for and deserve so yeah and so what did you think about the Walking Dead game actually now Walking Dead uh, that game is anxiety inducing in a good way um, it really does feel more like a survival game than a game that's just trying to scare you like I I feel like I need to preserve bullets and materials and I want to pick everything up it's it's scary when one of your one of your friends die or they're down you just like uh, you really feel like you got to leave them like bro uh, I'm sorry there's too many I don't have any bullets I can't help you and I feel like that's one of the best uh, aspects of the game what did you think about the the graphics you know the controls and all that other stuff in the game the graphics are pretty decent I wouldn't say like they're like out of this world, but I'm not a, a very big person on the graphics game. I mean, on the graphics side of things, as long as the game is fun. If the game is intriguing and the controls aren't too uh, messed up, which they're not. Controls are very uh, easy to like comprehend. And I did feel like I should be able to switch weapons easier. Like there should be a will since I'm surviving and I'll die at any second. But hey, maybe they'll add that in. Hopefully they'll add that in. Do you guys think that you'd actually buy this game when it comes out? Yes, I'm going to pre-order this game. <laughs> I can see myself buying this game. Pretty much anything that squad plays, I'm going to play along with. And this is a squad game. So, yeah, if you want to cry with your friends, this is it. So let me ask you, you think we'd ever see you at a game launch one day? Uh, yeah, huge possibility. Uh, you know, if you guys are in LA and I'm in LA, huge possibility come through we can just chill all right great listen my game launch is out there definitely check out Caleb City and you know someday he'll definitely I'm sure he'll be at a game <laughs> launch because we're gonna definitely be in the LA area again right oh, game launch yeah thanks a lot guys will you be chilling with game launch one day uh, one day I definitely will be chilling with game launch you know I would be chilling with game launch right now but it's like I, I want I want to impress you feel me so it's like I want my setup to be clean so once that setup is clean, you already know what's going down. Game launch, King Vader setup, all that stuff. So, yeah. Well, King Vader, I have to say this has been a really awesome interview. Thank you for taking your time to have an interview with us. And like I said before, you guys, I don't even have to tell you. You know about King Vader. Check out his page. And definitely check out Game Launch's pages because, obviously, do we get the King Vader stamp of approval? Yes. Yes, you do. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Game Launcher. See you later.